Oh no, Queen Lane. Queen of the Mughal. How are you doing, Mommy? Blessed. Yeah, man, blessed. I, I, I really like to see how you make the effort to walk up. Oh my God, you like to realize. Yeah, I, I, and really, the age. It's astonishing to me. 84? 84 year old? Yes. You come into this. Um, Paul Bogle. Paul Bogle. I am Bogle. I am Bogle. You are Bogle? Zetilda Bogle. Okay. Yes. So I guess you have to be here. Yes. Uh, okay. I love that mama. Alright? 84 years. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the night and more blessings. Yes. It's two and days. Stone up for right. Yes man, Stone is here man. Right? You know, when yeah. I say I come take a picture. Yeah. Start the table, yeah? No, no, start the table. Family. Watch the YouTube and you will see. YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Yes, okay. Yeah, but you want to get it personal. Would I would like to see. Tell us the story about that. Yes, Mr. Bogle, Constantine Bogle. Yes. All right. All right.
Ladies and gentlemen, here I am at Stony Gut. Today is the 10th of October, going on into the 11th. I'm here with my friend May May. I'm by my friend Stahl. Every year I come here, I feel trouble she give me, you know. You know what she here? May May. May May, eat your order, May May. I'm here with Stacey Ann and Suzanne. And guess what? Every year Suzanne promised me that we don't know what she promised me. No, I, I mean, Jesus. Jesus what? This is Paul Bogle thing. And guess what? We're having a wonderful time here because my friend Ariel Tagar is here from uh, Israel. And it's very important to see that the Paul Bogle Foundation has come thus far that we're having the 154th anniversary of Paul Bogle uh, Rebellion. And tonight is splendid. I had a wonderful time with Mimi. Mimi, she go on like she had to say, wait till you see her. She says she was married to me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is when we celebrate. Oh, 
morning ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Stony God. The time is now 5.56 a.m. Kumina has been going all night and we're going to capture a little piece of the Kumina in the morning. Look at Stony God. They've been playing all night.
This morning, um, we're actually preparing to walk to Morant Bay after we finish are in the finish a part of the enactment of 1865. This is the place where Paul Bogle lived. This is the place where Paul Bogle Church was in the stone gut, St. Thomas, Jamaica. And um, this is where he gathered his people the night before the famous Morant Day uprising or rebellion and um, break bread, eat fish prior for the entire night and beat drum. Then they leave here and walk into Morant Bay. So right about now we are about to leave Stony Gut after a night of drumming and and prior and walk into the town of Morant Bay. And um, this will be like a six and a half miles walk. So we are going to be journeying down there right now. So this is a historical mark march because this is a march that led to the famous Morant Bay uprising that bring about universal changes for black people. Queen of England had to change the laws in every colony and um, people around the world they you know they just get fearful that people haven't heard what Paul Bogle did they were going to emulate him and that is what bring about the biggest universal change. The first um, rebellion or the first war after slavery was abolished even though slavery was abolished the people still did not was not given their rights so it's, it's as, it, as if it was just on paper so um, Paul Bogle is a man who make hospital land ownership people can migrate travel around the world and everything so this is really where this is the place that let it happen not just for Jamaica but black people all over the, the globe so you know, this is our seventh year of, um, of doing this aspect of this event. But we are now in doing our 21 years of memorializing Paul Bogle and the 500 Africans who died as a result of slavery. So on October 24th, we'll be lighting candles in the run about thousands of people, IRFM, the most recognized radio station in Jamaica. We are joining with IRFM. And we have already joined with IRFM and we'll be doing um, candlelight with the famous Muta Baruka and Kabu and entertainers coming up and we'll be lighting the candles, pouring libation and lighting the candles in the roundabout. And then we walk about a mile from the roundabout in St. Thomas into, into the town of Morant Bay where we will have our annual memorial um, that is called fire baptism we're going to use the power of fire to create a universal transformation when john the baptist was baptizing christ he said that one will come who will not baptize you by water but by fire i am not here to tell you that i am the one but i am here to tell you that we have declared fire baptism and we will be using the power of fire to clean up the universe. Water represents life, fire represents cleansing, and fire represents purity. In order to create a unification of the black race, we must first have a spiritual cleansing. So we are, that is what we are doing, spiritual cleansing. When the black race is clean up spiritually, then we will have a unification of the black race. When the black race is unite, the entire universe will be unite. You cannot have a unification of the universe, period, without the black man. The black man would have to lead that. And that is what is now in the process. So we are looking forward. Last year we have 11 different countries around the world light candles with us. And we are looking forward this year to have more than 11 countries. Our people within 11 countries because it is not like the government of these countries make declarations. So it's just people within these countries that rise to the cause and is lighting candles. And we have seen a lot of transformation and a lot of things take place as a result 
of these candles. So this year, the candles will not just be lit in Stony Gut or St. Thomas, but we're asking people of goodwill, people who are tired of war and crime, to just light candles on October 24th, 6 p.m., wherever you are, year 6 p.m., light your candle, and you can say where you are and your name, and you put it up on the Paul Bogle social media page. And we hope that we'll have millions of people joining us this year. With your help, we look forward to that. Right? Fire baptism is the order of the day. Give thanks.